Hello everyone, my name is Mohammed Radwan. I'm a Visual Studio LM MVP and DevOps practice lead. And to continue on our series and to and to close this series by the last video of this series, which is how to run Jasmine JavaScript unit testing to calculate the code coverage using Istanbul and to use the code quality with GS Hint and all of this configuration using Grunt and to automate the build as a continuous integration and continuous improvement pipeline with BSTS build automation. So we will see the, the, the last picture of all this configuration and how to put that as uh, an automated build. So let's see that. So first I need to commit the change. Now I committed. So what I need is to sync my all my local changes to be on the remote repo. So I will sync all of that. Now I will go to my build. Let's see, refresh and see the history. Yes, so I have all the history. So let's create the build. So I will create new definition. Yes, it's a Visual Studio. I will start empty process. Then what I will add here is So the grunt here, all I have to do is specify where is the grunt file. And here the grunt task, which is according to here to the grunt file, I have JS hint, I have Jasmine, this is what I have. So I have Jasmine, then JS hint. So just the space to use separator with the space. see that So now as we can see it's from Jasmine task one. Okay, great. So as we can see it from uh, here. This is Jasmine task one and just pick one is pick zero failure. So notice the method field. This is a good coverage. And for JS hint, there's three files and lint free with no problem. So now we succeeded to run the unit testing for JavaScript with build VS TS. At the end, I would like to thank you for watching this video. Please, if you have any question or you would like to, to know anything, don't hesitate to contact me on my blog, You can also 
click on the links that will appear on the screen which is including the DevOps guide which is published on the TechNet. This guide includes basic principles about DevOps for people that want to get more familiar about uh, the high level of DevOps. You can also click on the, the related video which is usually is could adding more information for the current video which is appear now on the screen thank you